Hello everyone. Today is 7 November and we are celebrating the birthday of Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman. He was born in a Tamil Brahmin family on 7 November 1888 at Koil in Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. This great Indian physicist developed his own spectrograph and with the help of one of his students, Sri K. S. Krishnan, discovered the Raman's effect. It's really a matter of surprise for all of us that this great Indian physicist started his career in the Department of Finance. In 1924, he was elected as the Fellow of the Royal Society. But unfortunately, for some reasons, he resigned from the society in 1968. C. V. Raman presided the 16th Indian Science Congress in 1929. He became the president of the Indian Science Academy in 1933 and remained on this post till his last breath. Sir C. V. Raman was awarded and honored with many awards and honors. In 1912, he got Karjan Research Award and at that time he was working in the finance department. In 1930, he received the prestigious Nobel Prize Physics. This award was given to him for his work in the field of light scattering. His discovery is famous as the Raman effect. He was the first Asian and uh, the first non-white also to receive the Nobel Prize in any field of sciences. He was knighted in 1933. In 1941, C. V. Raman was awarded with the Franklin Medal. When the Bharat Ratna was instituted in 1954, three great personalities were awarded with it. Sir C. V. Raman was one of them. The other two great personalities were Chakravarti Raj Gopalachari, the first and the last Indian Governor General of Independent India, and Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan, the great philosopher and the first Vice President of Independent India. Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was not happy with the policies of the then Prime Minister in the field of scientific research. And due to that, he returned Bharat Ratna. Sir Chandrasekhar Venkat Raman was awarded with the Lenin Peace Prize in 1957. We the Indians are proud of Sir C. V. Raman and his work in the field of physics. Happy birthday, Sir C. V. Raman.